How's it going guys, boy Ham here. Today we're gonna do something a little different, mix it up a little bit. So instead of our regular beer reviews or drink reviews, we're gonna be doing a beer war or a beer comparison. All right, so over here we have good old faithful Michelob Ultra. This is my go-to in a bottle here. And then you have Yingling's new light beer, Yingling Flight. I think it came out in uh, late February, early March, something like that. And I'm just now seeing it. So we're gonna compare the two. So right off the bat, Michelob Ultra, 2.6 carbs, 95 calories, same as a Yingling Flight with 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. So with these being the exact same when it comes to the nutrition, I'm going to break this down in a way to compare them that hopefully will help everybody out. All right guys, so this is how I'm gonna compare these two beers. I'm gonna base them off five factors. So one, it's gonna be the taste and the aftertaste. Two, it's gonna be the smoothness of the beer. Three, it's gonna be the price of the beer. Four, it's going to be the availability. And then five, I'm going to rate each beer on a scale um, from one to 10. So let's get started first with the older of the two beers here, Michelob Ultra. Now, one thing I will tell you, I kind of like the aesthetic of the uh, darker bottle here, just the way it looks. It kind of just, I don't know, I just like the look, but I also do like the look of the Yingling Flight bottle. But anyway, let's try this beer. You have that classic um, Michelob Ultra taste here. It's just smooth, not very heavy doesn't make you feel like you're bloated and gross after having a few. But yeah, the, that initial taste, <clears throat> super smooth, super nice. And uh, now I'm gonna get the initial taste of the Yingling Flight. Definitely has that distinct Yingling taste that you know, if you're uh, familiar with Yingling beers that they have, the aftertaste is a lot stronger the Michelob Ultra's aftertaste. Uh, let me do this again here. <clears throat> oh man, that's smooth. And the taste and the smoothness, it just kind of flows, if that makes sense. The smoothness is there and stuff too. It's um that yingling taste. It's just really, at that point, they're both super smooth, super great. At this point, it's kind of like, What's your preference? Do you like a little bit of extra kick? Do you like just pure smoothness? Um, really, at this point, it's your personal preference. So now we're gonna get to the next part. So I've already described uh, the taste for each and the smoothness. And I will say for the taste, it's a little bit more hoppy. And then when it comes to the smoothness, both are extremely smooth. I got them even there. But then now we're gonna come down to some uh, different factors and that's the price. Um, of course, it's going to differ wherever you are after tax, depending on where you get it, whether it's a uh, just a regular grocery store or if you're going to your local gas station, convenience store, whatever. But every time if I compare the two, this in a six pack is always at least 50 cents to a dollar less than a six pack of Michelob Ultra. Now, if you're on a budget and you still want that light beer, you still want that 2.6 carbs and 95 calories, um, if you're OK with not having a. Uh, just a smoother, um, not not more smooth, but just that not as hoppy taste. You could still go with your Michelob Ultra, but if you like a little hoppiness and a little bit of that Yingling uh, taste that Yingling just has, uh, you could definitely go with this for a dollar cheaper. This that's a big win because you know money's tight right now. Coronavirus, world's going crazy, so that dollar can mean a lot. And then, but where it fails is this next part. Availability right here, Michelob Ultra, all around the country. Um, Yingling is more of an East Coast towards uh, the a Midwest type of uh, beer. Not even not even Midwest, probably not even that. Mostly just an East Coast beer. So the availability, especially with this being a new beer, it's still not out in a lot of places, but it is a great beer. So really, they're kind of down to the wire since this gives you that extra dollar or so, and this is more available for people all around the world. Um, so that makes them really even. So here comes basically the main event. Um, which one do I think is better? So I gotta drink it again, you know. All 
All right. I think this is what I'm going to have to do. If you haven't already seen my other Michelob Ultra review, that was for the can. Um, I'll link it up here or link it down below. But um, with that being said, I'm going to have to give the bottle Michelob Ultra a 7.5. Yes, you heard me, a 7.5 out of 10. This beer is just so smooth. It's it's my it's my vibe. I like the hoppiness of the flight, but um, I just like a, just a smooth, more crisp beer at, at the end of the day. So, but for the Yingling flight, I am going to give it a really good score as well. I'm giving it a 7.2. It's price point and just it being that beer that I want to go to when I'm sick of this beer. If I'm sick of just drinking regular Michelob Ultra, um, my chief calls it a mom's beer. So that's kind of funny. It's just basically like water. It's great. But if you want a little bit of a kick, a little bit of a different vibe, Yingling always will bring that. Even regular Yingling beers uh, just have that Yingling taste. And if you drink Yingling, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, Yingling Flight is great. A great beer. But sorry, I couldn't help myself. But at the end of the day, giving Yingling Flight a 7.2 and Michelob Ultra a 7.5. And I just wanted to say this is for the bottle. I don't even think they make cans for this right now. At least I've not seen them in my area. And um, I love the bottle, bottled beer more than canned of beer anyway but anyways guys i hope you all enjoyed this uh beer <laughs> beer comparison beer war video a little bit different i actually had a script for once <laughs> so i felt good about it and uh guys if you enjoy this go ahead and like this video subscribe turn on post notifications i i'm not an alcoholic <laughs> i'm not just, or let me rephrase this i'm not just an alcoholic I like to play video games. I like to spread positivity any way I can. So if you all want to stick around for that, go ahead and join the squad down here and uh, have a nice day. Peace.